guys, welcome back to my vlog channel, Annalisa's Glam Life. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a typical, hopefully productive day in my life. But first of all, I need to do my skincare because I just woke up, had breakfast, manifested, and now I need to do some skincare. So let's go to my bathroom. So I've just washed my face, which I'll get into what I use in a second because I think that's what's really helped to clear up my skin. But something else that's been really amazing lately is this product that is called Lash Fridays, and I've been using it on my eyelashes every single day to help them grow. So that is actually the sponsor of today's video. This is the first sponsored vlog ever, so I'm super excited. So it is sponsored by Lash Fridays. So I've been using Lash Fridays, as I said, to help grow my eyelashes because as you guys know, I wear fake lashes almost every day, if not every other day. And because of the glue, it does rip out a lot of my like actual natural lashes. So do using this product has been helping my lashes to regrow and to be stronger and a lot fuller. So I've been applying this product every single day and every single night and it has really helped my lashes to grow back a lot fuller because when I'm not wearing fake lashes, I do still wanna have somewhat full looking natural lashes and I didn't have that because they were being ripped out. And this seriously has helped a lot. Before I agreed to do this sponsorship, I did try it out for a long time and I genuinely noticed a big difference. So it's really easy, it's in this cute pink packaging which I love matches the aesthetic um well I've got the black hole throw pee now but there's pink in the background but matches the aesthetic so it's just this cute little you know brush and you just put the excess I just put the excess back in because I don't want to lose that product but you just apply it onto your lashes in a single stroke just on like the baseline so I just do a little stroke and another stroke Boom, and that's it. It doesn't affect my eyes in any way at all. If it does, obviously, you know, only use it every second day and then stop use. But I have sensitive eyes. Like if mascara or something gets in my eyes, it really hurts. And this hasn't hurt my eyes at all. It's also vegan and cruelty free, which is amazing. And it's safe to use if you have eyelash extensions, which I am thinking of getting. And you can also use it on your eyebrows. I don't use it on my brows because I'm happy with the length of mine. But if you're trying to grow out your brows to get big, thick, bushy ones, this would be perfect for that as well. Lash Fridays also does free shipping in Australia, New Zealand, and the US, which is absolutely amazing. It also contains no hormones, which apparently some eyelash serums do, which that's not good, so definitely a positive there. So I do have a discount code for this product. If you use Annalise 20, you'll get 20% off your purchase, and I seriously recommend it because it just helps your lashes to grow back a lot fuller. And if you have eyelash extensions, I know a lot of my friends do, it can definitely leave your natural lashes, you know, falling out and not looking great. So this is just perfect to apply on top. That way your natural lashes are still growing through and looking super thick. So I'm obsessed with this. It's really helping out my lashes and I just cannot say enough nice things about it. As I said, applying it every single day and every single night to get those full lashes back. So as I said, I've already washed my face and I was using, wait one moment, the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser and I really, I think this is what gave me my bad acne. You guys know if you've been watching my vlogs for a while, I've had adult acne lately and I never ever ever have suffered with acne before and all up here was really bad and I think it was this cleanser. So I don't know, everyone loves it and raves about it but it just does not work for my skin. So I've gone back to my usual which is this fresh foaming cleanser from Neutrogena and it is amazing. Like I know that a lot of people don't love this brand and say that this cleanser isn't good. I don't care. Like, I know my skin better than anyone and this is what works. I've also stopped using any products on my skin pretty much. All I use now is this eye serum from Tribe Skincare. So I just put it on my eyes and I've actually been putting it on my acne infected areas and it's really helped. It's not what it's made for but I'm using it and then I've just been applying some moisturizer and that's it. No vitamin C, no nothing. I know that it's bad, like you're meant to do that every single day, but my skin was so bad. So by just using these products, my skin has cleared up a lot. Now it's time to put on a cute outfit for the day and do my hair and makeup. I hate the cold, so I'm trying to dress somewhat warm while still looking cute. And since I'm at home today, I have just gone with a chill makeup look and outfit. So let me show you the full fit. I'm wearing these super cute jeans from Shein, white crop top from... I don't know, Supre, I think, and then this jacket from Topshop. Super cute, like warm, and I love, I mean, I know it's a crop top. I still live in Brisbane, y'all, so it's not super cold. And I'm just keeping on my Uggs, because why not? So I've already had breakfast this morning. I had a bacon sandwich and a coffee, but lately what I've been doing is making a smoothie as well, so that when I go sit down at my desk, I have something to drink on that is kind of like a snack and will keep me nice and full. Boom, easy smoothie. Let's see how it Oh, it's super thick, but I like it thick. Mmm, it's nice. 
can't taste the spinach at all. Now I just need to answer some emails and edit a YouTube video. So this is where I'll sit pretty much until lunchtime. <laughs> like this is what I do every single day. I keep my mood board here to keep me inspired. And yeah, I am just gonna do some work. It's not bad, like I enjoy what I do and I play music while I'm sitting here, so I enjoy it. So while I've been sitting here working, look at who's come to join me. Jelly boy. It's child. I just finished all of the stuff on my laptop a lot quicker than I thought, which is amazing. So now I need to list some items on my Depop because at the end of this month, no, at the end of August, sorry, I'm moving apartments. I'm leaving this place after living here for three years and I'm moving on to the next adventure. So I'm putting some stuff up for sale on my Depop clothes and stuff just because the less I have, the less I have to pack and move. So I kind of want to sort through my shoes right now to see what high heels and stuff I don't wear and I can sell and I also want to show you guys some of the new heels that I got so let's just do that let's just like sort through my high heel closet first of all these crazy heels from Fashion Nova are definitely gonna be listed on my Depop because I just know I'm not gonna wear them. like these shoes are amazing but they also just aren't me at all that I'm not gonna get anywhere out of these I feel like you need to be the right type of person and these just aren't me at all they're super fun to wear like all the fringe and stuff is so much fun but just not for me so I've recently got these gorgeous pink boots. They don't look very cute in here, but I promise they are absolutely stunning. Look at those. Oh, I love them so much. I mean, look at these boots. They obviously do not match this outfit. Don't worry, I am well aware of that. But they are literally stunning. I am obsessed with these. And I just love them so very much. Oh, I love them. These are definitely not going on Depop. These are staying with me. Like, look at this angle. Isn't that just stunning? Oh, I love these heels so much. So whenever I show you guys my high heels, I always get the question of like, how do I keep them so clean? The answer is I really don't. A lot of them aren't that clean. And I was cleaning up my room yesterday and I noticed that my favorite pair of high heels, I ruined them. These are my favorite pair of heels. They're just from Famous Footwear. That's an Aussie store. I love them. Super cute. I recently wore them to a friend's birthday party that had grass in the backyard. Like I didn't realize it was in the backyard, the party. Oh, and look at the back. I've completely ripped off all of the color and they look horrible. I'm still gonna wear them. I'm gonna see if I can patch that up somehow. But yeah, see, not all of my shoes are as cute, but you wouldn't know from looking at the front. Now these boots, I don't know if I should keep or not. They're super cute, but I haven't worn, really worn them anywhere yet. And I don't know if I will. Like these boots are absolutely stunning. And if we put the flash on them, like look at that shimmer, that shine. Oh, I love them so much, but I kind of feel like they'll be better off in someone else's home. I don't plan on having kids, so my cat and my high heels are my babies. And if I am not giving my high heels the love and attention they deserve, they should go to a home that will. So I'm going to list these bad boys on my Depop. Okay, so those are all the boots. I really want to keep all of those. So let's move along to the rest of the heels. These shoes I absolutely adore. They are from Wish and you would never expect them to be like a good quality pair of shoes but I bought them years ago and still none of the glitter has rubbed off and I have worn them heaps as you can Wait a second, is that plastic? I didn't realize that these heels still have the plastic attached. This is gonna be so satisfying, look. Oh my gosh, I've had these for years and I've just been walking around with the plastic on. Hang on, I wanna get up to the top so I can do like a nice big peel. Ready, ready, here we go. except for that one little bit where the plastic had already come off, but amazing. I did not know that. That would explain why these shoes were difficult to walk in grip-wise. I was always sliding around. It's because I had plastic on them still. These shoes I haven't really worn yet, but I definitely don't want to get rid of them because what if the occasion comes up where I want to wear them, you know? Because they have these gorgeous bow heels. Absolutely stunning. Love them to bits. I just haven't worn them anyway yet. Like, as you can see, the bottom is still pristine, but I'm not ready to part with these just yet. I think though, I could bring myself to part with these because I haven't worn these and I don't love them as much. I mean, when saying this, I love all of these. Obviously, that's why I own them, but these I haven't worn as much. I actually haven't worn these either and I don't love them as much. So let me try them on. Yeah, no, I am not parting with these. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I mean, that is an Insta pick right there. I'm going to take one in 0.5 seconds, but 
I really like these. I just forgot how gorgeous they are on. So I need to move these to the front of my heels. That way I can actually see them. But yeah, these are not going anywhere. I really am going to put a pic of this up on my Instagram. The cursed shoes. If you know, you know. I bought these from someone off eBay because they were their um, wedding day shoes. Bought them, wore them out in the day. It date went horribly. Worst day of my life. So I don't wear these anymore. But I am not giving this bad karma off to someone else. I ain't going to do that. I'll keep them here. I'll keep them safe. But I'm not wearing them. I think I can get rid of these black heels. I might put these up on my Depop. Super cute. They're just black. Nothing special about them. I just don't really wear them because I have too many pairs of black heels. So I am selling one, two, three, four pairs of heels. Honestly thought I was going to get rid of a lot more than that, but it turns out I actually really like all of my heels. So with that, that is going to be the end of today's vlog. I know it was meant to be a productive day in my life vlog and I definitely boycotted that and turned it into a sorting through my high heel collection vlog. But nonetheless, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I love you all so, so much. Thank you to Lash Fridays for sponsoring today's video, and I will see you beauties in my next vlog. Bye! Mwah.